Now, right now, parents, video games are now more than just a hobby. A recent report says this fall, hundreds of schools will offer degrees in that field. Well, Naja Sherman headed over to Johnson County Community College and met up with the next generation of video game makers. Nintendo, PlayStation, Genesis, industry experts say almost 70% of households play video games. Higher education is catching on, and it's a field that pays well. Welcome to Game 101. Students in this class just learned how to make their first video game. Game development is a fairly new major here at Johnson County Community College. For freshman Gavin Weir, the major is a dream come true. I've been playing video games since I was probably like six. Yeah. I've, I've, been, I've been playing video games all my life. I've always wanted to be a part of the video game industry. Okay, you lift up. Professor Russ Hanna is chair of the Game Development Department and says the field is wide-reaching. Many leading companies use games for employee training, and it continues to have an expanding role. We call them serious games in general, rehabilitating um, Parkinson's patients or stroke victims, things like that. Hannes says a position in programming or game development pays 65 to 85,000 and up. I'd be getting to program, play uh, video games and getting paid for it, so it'd be pretty sweet. But you may have to wait to cash in on this growing industry. In Johnson County, most gaming sections are full. I, I've never had a class before people ask me for more homework than I give them, and they're very enthusiastic, and that's pretty cool. Hannah says the first class offered just a couple of years ago had an enrollment of just seven students. Now a couple hundred will graduate with game development degrees. There is also a master's degree offered in the field. 300 schools across the country see the value and are training students to meet the demand. Naja Sherman, NBC Action News.